Hello guys, today I will be showing you how to do beginner's crocheting. So in this video, we are going, we will be covering three topics. Number one, slip knot. Number two, hand placement. And number three, chaining. So this is episode one of many episodes. I will be making an episode two soon. So we are going to start with the uh, materials we will need. Number one, a brighter yarn color. So we need we need a brighter yarn color to see the stitches better. Right now I have a maroon color yarn. But you have to have a brighter yarn for beginners. Number two, we'll be needing a hook. And number three, we'll be needing a scissors. So now we are going to start with the slip knot. We are going to take the middle finger and our index finger and we are going to place the yarn in a slanting way. We are going to take our thumb and hold our yarn. And now we are going to take our yarn and um, place it back. Now we, are, we will be forming an X by going over the yarn. And this is where we take our hook. Now we are going for a closer up version of it so we can see the slip knot better. Now we are going to take our hook and place it under the X. Now we take our hook and face it towards you and now you slowly pull it down and now you're going to slowly slip it off your fingers and now pull the rest of the yarn it'll tighten up so regarding of your hook big or small it should be at least a little loose the slip knot should be a little loose so it'll be easier so let's do it again we're going to form an X Take a hook and go under the yarn. Under. Now over. Now slowly pull it while facing downwards. Facing downwards and pull. Slowly slip it off your fingers. This is why it's called a slip knot. Because you slip it off your fingers. Now slowly pull it and it will tighten up. And now you successfully made a slip knot. Now let's start with our second topic, hand placements. So we're going to take our yarn and go over the pinky, under the two fingers and over the mother finger again. Over the pinky, under the two fingers and over the mother finger. Now we are going to take our middle finger and thumb finger and hold the end of the yarn. Now it will be perfect. Now the hand placements are done. We are going for our next topic, chaining. So as I said, if our slip knot is too tight, it will be hard to chain and your chains will end up too tight and will be hard to chain. That's why we need to have a medium length slip knot because if it's too loose our chains won't be as nice. Now we are going to go for a closer up version of chaining. We take our hook um, face it towards you towards you and now pull slowly pull and ma make sure it goes into the loop and that's how you do chaining in the next video i'll show you how to single crochet bye bye